How has your experience been so far at the championship? It's been great because, uh, you know, like I said before, I, I wasn't sure what to expect uh, coming out here. And, you know, the university is absolutely beautiful. The courts are great. It's perfect to have a professional tournament here at some point. And the glass court is really, you know, at par with all the other glass courts that I've played around the world and uh, everyone's warm, welcoming and you know, I've had a great time so far. Your core competence when it comes to squash? You know, I enjoy the training part. I love uh, being fit. I love uh, working on my game with my coach and uh, I think that definitely gives me that advantage. You know, when I come on court, I'm a lot more relaxed because I know I've probably done the work. But I also enjoy competing and playing all around the world. My day starts uh, at about six in the morning. I either have gym or I do a lesson on court with my uh, with my squash coach. So it's like Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, I'm in the gym. I tend to do a fitness session every day as well, whether it's on court or on the field or on the bike. And then I play a lot of matches as well every day. So I do about four to five hours uh, every day from Monday to Saturday. Yeah. What do you do to keep your mind focused? What's your best practice? So I think it's very important to be physically strong because that automatically also makes you mentally strong. It doesn't let you give up that easily because you know if you know that you've worked hard and you're physically you can you're capable of lasting in a point. I think that also keeps you mentally alert. But definitely, I think for me, what has really worked is like the visualization. You know, like thinking about your games before, like uh, watching a lot of your opponents play, uh, and also doing a lot of meditation. I think that has really helped me quite a bit. Who has your inspiration? Been? I wouldn't say uh, one person has inspired me, but I definitely took up the sport because of my dad. He introduced me to the game. He was uh, my coach for a very long time. In fact, he still helps me, you know, with the game. So in that sense, yeah, he was probably somebody I, I looked up to. But um, there are different players, you know, along the way who I've seen at tournaments and like for their careers, and that inspires me uh, when I see them. Outside squash, how has been your favorite sports person? And why? I love P.T. Usha. She's been someone I've always uh, looked up to uh, for everything she's achieved and uh, she's very uh, humble down to earth and uh, that's why I've always looked up to her. How has Squash evolved over the last 20 years? So it's definitely improved a lot. You know, the game has gotten a lot faster. You know, everyone's a lot more physically stronger. Like when I first started, it was a nine scoring system with British so that you had to serve to win the point. But now it's 11 uh, scoring Americans, so anyone can win the point, you know. And then they've changed the tin from like 19 to 17 inches. So the game has obviously gotten a lot faster. Kids who are, who are inspired by the top seed of squash, what is that one inspirational quote that you want to say to them to move towards squash? You know, I would just say to, you know, keep working. You have to put in the work. Like there really is no substitute for, for hard work to, if you want to be a top professional uh, athlete and at the same time you have to you know have fun with it enjoy your game for the younger lot I would say like to keep the education going till at least they get their uh, college degree and then to decide whether they want to go pro or not okay any superstitious things that you follow like I'm very better? superstitious so do you like, know any, any superstitious that you want to share with us which is on court which people don't know about a wristband or a I always start with my backhand so no matter what I have to hit my backhand first that is my thing since I was 10 years old so that doesn't change. I like to hit the ball once back to myself before I serve. That's another thing that I do. As far as my clothing is concerned, I'm very superstitious about colors. So I, I, uh, if I've played well in this color, that you know I'm going to wear that for all big matches. And if I've not played well in a color, I'll never wear that color ever again. <laughs> and uh, my socks have to be the same every day. So obviously I wash it, but like uh, it's the same <laughs> pair of socks for the whole tournament. <laughs> that's that's probably. The little bit I can do. Some inside. Yeah, some yeah. inside. <laughs> so we'll do some rapid fire, quick rapid okay. fire. Virat Kohli or Sachin Tendulkar? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Virat. Sanya Mirza or Sanya Nehwal? <laughs> oh, that's hard. I know both of them. I'm going to say uh, Sanya Nehwal. $500 million or World Squash Championship? The World Squash Championships. <laughs> All glass court or a normal court? All glass court. Personal life over squash or squash practice over personal life? Definitely squash practice over personal life. Chuck the India or Dangal? Chuck the India. Your biggest competitor in this championship? Uh, I think it would be, since I'm in the final, I'm going to say the girls who are playing right now in the semi finals. One of them. Name one. Urvashi Joshi. Describe the championship in three words beautiful, green, because I see all the trees are here, uh, and uh, exciting. Describe <laughs> the squash match in three words. The last squash match. Fast, tough, and relief. Really. <laughs> because I won. <laughs>